Hi, this is Mato, and this video is a continuation from Advanced Rook Endgame Part 1. So this is Advanced Rook Endgame Part 2. And in this video, you will see the right technique to draw in this position. Theory says that if attacking Rook is in front of the pawn, and defending Rook behind the pawn, the game will be a draw, but Defender's King must be active. In this position, it, it is white to move and he played a6, which is the right, right move. He wants to win the game, so he has to push the pawn. And then, black played the right move. King to f6, activating the king. King to f3. And this is the plan for white. He wants to get his king to the queen side and help a pawn to promote to queen. Risk involved is, he is going to lose the pawns on the king side. Okay, it is black to move and he played h5 which is the right move again. King to e3, king to f5, f3, rook to a3, and now white must make a decision. Is he going to e2 or he goes for a win? So white decides to go for a win and he is burning all the bridges behind. So rook takes the pawn on f3, rook to f8, attacking the pawn on f7, rook to a3, rook takes pawn, king to g4, rook to f6, it is defending the pawn on a6 and attacking one on g6. There is no time to waste, king takes pawn, Rook takes on g6 check, and king takes on h4. So let's have a good look at this position. Both players have passed pawns, but it appears that a pawn is much faster. King to c5, king to h3, king to b6, h4, and white played rook to g5, looks like that he is going to play rook to a5. And we have reached a critical position of the game. It is black to move. What would you play in this position? Are you ready? Rook takes on a6 is a forced draw. Let's go back. I found another solution. If there is a refutation to it, please let me know. So this is my continuation, king to h2. After king to h2, a7, h3, rook to a5, rook takes on a5, king takes on a5, king to g1, white promotes pawn to queen, and after h2, queen to a7, king to g2, and this is still a draw, because Rook's pawns and bishop pawns will be draw if white king is far away, and this is the case, so this must be a draw. Okay, but in this position, rook takes on a6 is a force draw. But how did black come up to this conclusion? Okay, let's see how black calculates if this is going to work or not. Okay, have a look at this. In two moves, King is going to be on h1, so it is 1, 2. Just imagine king on h1. In two moves, pawn is going to be on h2. So you have to imagine pawn on h2, king on h1. In four moves, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. In four moves, white king is going to be on e2. Can you see the new position now? And what do you see? This is stalemate. Okay, and that's why black decided to capture on a6. King takes, king to h2, king is coming back, h3, king to c4, king to h1, king to d3, h2, and there is even no need for king to go to e2. This is already stalemate because Rook is on G file 
And if rook moves off g file, for example, to h file, it's still a draw because black is going to push the pawn. And that is all. Bye for now.